Has it ever crossed your mind how did our solar system come into existence? We live in this vast universe on a blue planet that's part of a solar system which is truly an intriguing concept. Imagine a huge glowing star, the sun, at the center, surrounded by planets, each unique and fascinating in its own way. And let's not forget their orbiting companions, the moons. But how did all this come to be? Stay tuned to dive into the mystery of our cosmic neighborhood. Around 4.6 billion years ago, our solar system was just a cloud of dust and gas, called a nebula. Imagine a huge puff of smoke, swirling and twirling in the vast expanse of the universe. This nebula was our solar system's humble beginning. Now here's where the magic happens. Gravity, the force that keeps us grounded on Earth, started to play its part in the nebula. It began pulling together the dust and gas. Think of it as a cosmic tug of war, with gravity doing all the tugging. Over time the center of this nebula started getting denser and denser. It's like squishing a marshmallow into a tight little ball. The center of the nebula got so dense and compact that it heated up and started to glow. This glowing ball of gas is what we now call the sun. But what about the planets you may ask? Well, they were formed from the leftover dust and gas that didn't make it into the sun. As gravity kept pulling, bits of dust and gas began to stick together forming clumps. These clumps kept growing as more and more dust and gas stuck to them. Over millions of years these clumps grew into the planets we know today. The rocky ones, like Earth and Mars, were formed closer to the Sun, while the gas giants, like Jupiter and Saturn, were formed farther away. And let's not forget about the moons, asteroids and comets. They're like the sprinkles on top of our cosmic Sunday, formed from the remaining bits and pieces that didn't make it into the planets. And just like that, from a simple cloud of dust and gas, our solar system came into being. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? From a nebula to a star, to planets, moons, asteroids, and comets, all thanks to the power of gravity. And voila, our solar system was born. In the center of our solar system, there shines a star, our sun, a glowing sphere of hot gas with a surface temperature of about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. To put that into perspective, that's over 50 times hotter than a summer day in the Sahara Desert. The sun is a massive ball of energy, producing light and heat through a process called nuclear fusion. This is the same process that powers hydrogen bombs, only the sun does it naturally and on a much larger scale. But the sun isn't just a big hot glowing ball, it's also our solar system's powerhouse, providing the energy that fuels life on Earth. It keeps our planet warm, powers photosynthesis in plants, and even creates the weather. The sun also plays a pivotal role in holding the solar system together. Its immense gravitational pull keeps all the planets in their orbits, including our Earth. Without the sun, life on Earth wouldn't be possible. It's our very own superstar. Now let's take a tour of our cosmic neighborhood, starting with the closest planet to the sun, Mercury. As we embark on our journey, the first stop is Mercury. It's the smallest planet in our solar system, about the size of Earth's moon. But don't let its size fool you. Mercury is a place of extremes, with temperatures that can reach up to 800 degrees during the day and drop to a frosty minus 290 degrees at night. It's a wild ride of hot and cold. Next up, we have Venus, our nearest planetary neighbor. Often called Earth's twin because of their similar size, Venus is anything but sisterly. With a thick blanket of clouds that trap the sun's heat, Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. The surface temperature can melt lead. Talk about a hot spot. Then comes our home, Earth, the only planet known to support life. It's just the right distance from the sun, not too hot, not too cold. We have a breathable atmosphere, liquid water and a magnetic field to protect us from solar radiation. We're pretty lucky, aren't we? Next in line is Mars, the red planet. Famous for its rusty red color caused by iron oxide or rust on its surface, Mars is home to the tallest volcano and the deepest canyon in the solar system. It's a place of wonders and maybe, just maybe a future home for humans. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, is next on our tour. It's more than 11 times the diameter of Earth. Jupiter is a gas giant with a strong magnetic field and dozens of moons. Its most famous feature, the Great Red Spot, is a storm that's been raging for hundreds of years. Saturn, the ringed beauty, is our next stop. Its spectacular rings are made of ice and rock. Saturn is so light that if we could find a bathtub big enough it would float. It also has the most moons of any planet in our solar system. Uranus, often the butt of jokes because of its name, is a fascinating place. It's known as an ice giant, with temperatures that can drop to minus 350 degrees. 
Uranus also rolls around the Sun on its side, making it unique among the planets. Last but not least, we have Neptune, the farthest planet from the Sun. It's a windy place with the fastest winds in the solar system. It's also a beautiful blue, thanks to methane in its atmosphere. From the hot surface of Mercury to the icy rings of Saturn, each planet is unique and fascinating. We've only scratched the surface of what's out there in our cosmic neighborhood. Not to forget our planets have companions too, the moons. Now what's a moon? It's a celestial body that orbits around a planet. These moons come in all shapes and sizes with each having its own unique story to tell. Let's consider our very own moon, the Earth's faithful friend. It's the fifth largest moon in the solar system and it's the only one we've set foot on. Thanks to the moon we have tides. And without tides, our oceans would be a lot less lively. But the moon isn't the only interesting one out there, let's hop over to Mars. Mars is home to two moons, Phobos and Deimos. These moons look more like potatoes than spheres, but that doesn't make them any less fascinating. Now let's take a big leap to Jupiter, the planet with the most moons in our solar system. One of its moons, Ganymede, is the largest moon in the solar system. It's even larger than the planet Mercury. And we can't forget Saturn's moon, Titan. Titan is really special because it's the only moon known to have a dense atmosphere and stable bodies of surface liquid. Moons are more than just companions to planets. They're unique worlds with their own mysteries waiting to be discovered. And who knows, perhaps one day we'll be able to explore these moons just as we've explored our own. From our moon to Jupiter's Ganymede, moons are the silent companions of our planets. Whew, that was a lot to take in, wasn't it? Let's do a quick recap. We started our cosmic journey with a mysterious question that led us to the birth of the solar system, a spectacular event that happened over four and a half billion years ago. Pretty old, huh? Next we met the Sun, our very own superstar, literally. It's the heart of our solar system, pumping out energy and warmth. Then we zoomed past each of our eight unique planetary neighbors, from the hot and rocky Mercury to the icy and distant Neptune. We didn't forget about the moons either, those loyal companions that keep our planets company. Some are as small as a city, while others are bigger than entire countries. And let's not forget all those fun facts we learned like how Mars is red because it's just a little bit shy, or how Jupiter's great red spot is actually a storm that's been raging for centuries. And that, my friends, is our amazing solar system. Now it's time to see how much you've learned. Ready for a quick quiz? Let's blast off with our first question. Remember our mighty star, the Sun? Can you tell me, is it a planet or a star? That's right, it's a star. Next, we've been talking about our cosmic neighbors, the planets. Can you recall how many planets are there in our solar system? Excellent! There are eight planets. Moving on, let's talk about those orbiting companions, the moons. Can you guess which planet in our solar system has the most moons? If you said Jupiter, you're absolutely right. Finally, a tricky one. We've talked about the birth of our solar system. Can you remember what it's believed to have formed from? Yes indeed, it's thought to have formed from a giant cloud of dust and gas. Well done, space explorers. Keep exploring and keep learning.